students i am shashikant patil welcomes you all the students of 11th class in this video lecture i'm sure you all are staying at home and keeping yourself safe okay so let's move forward we are having the second book reference book that is the name of the book is snapshots and in that book there is a lesson the first lesson is that the summer of the beautiful white horse actually this is a story now before studying this story we must understand the theme of this story dear yes, students honesty is the best policy is the theme of this lesson the two boys which are mentioned over here are definitely symbolizing and reflecting honesty in their behavior and in their spirit see there are some people who are poor by their financial condition but they are rich by their human qualities therefore your richness or poverty does not make you a better human being but the better human values the higher human values make you a greater human being here in this story two boys are there aram and murad actually they are from armenia and they belong to a tribe garbulian tribe and the tribe is anciently famous for their honesty but they are poor their financial condition is poor so what happens here is the most interesting thing but you know children are children you go anywhere in the world children are not ideally born with all these things they have all the desire they have all the wishes and here in this story aram and murad who are children they are also having a strong desire to ride the horse but as their financial condition is poor they cannot afford it but somehow they dream that the desires come to fulfill one day and the same happens murad was a little bit adventurous than aram he is having a confidence he is having the way to handle the people around him and one fine morning he comes to his cousin aram at 4 o'clock in the morning aram was surprised to see murad with a horse but what either he thinks that he is in a dream because he knows that they are poor and they cannot ever have horse but his cousin was having a horse but soon after that he joins his cousin murad and they go on in the dark to enjoy the horse riding aram also joined and in this way aram comes to know that murad has stolen this horse actually nobody from their family steal the things but now the desire of horse riding was so great that these both these children forget that they have stolen but they are having a different kind of theory they did have no plan of selling that horse so that is why they think that this is not at all a steal actually their family is having a high tradition of honesty but now these two boys are in a trouble because they are partner in crime and indirectly if they are caught by someone then they will prove blood to their society and their tribe so what happens they continue to horse ride early morning they go for horse riding they keep the, and by 7 o'clock in the morning when they breaks they keep the horse in a yard deserted yard so that no one can see them but the story doesn't stop here there are twists and turns so what happens next what really happens do these boys are caught by some other people or somehow they manage to come out of this or how their honesty is proven at the end all these questions are in our mind and to answer that we we'll have to go into the details of this story in a step by step way so we'll go in details now okay shri vashishth vidyalaya surat we are in class 11 our subject is english and the book which we are going to study today is snapshots we are going to study the lesson number 1 the title is summer of the beautiful white horse and i am a teacher shashikant patil see here the summer of the beautiful white horse it is written by william soroyan see in the picture the horse isn't it very much beautiful white horse has been traditionally very much impressive and beautiful 
and that is why here is also in this story this title is around this horse and it has an important role to play now we'll see the summary and outline of this story so that you can remember each and everything in the most simple way the summer of the beautiful white horse by william sorwen is a short story highlighting the importance of honesty and trust even in the face of greed and hedonism the story features two armenian boys named aram and his elder cousin murad they belong to garbolenian tribe which is across the world famous for honesty and trustworthiness one early morning when the world is still asleep murad appears at the window of aram with a beautiful white horse aram cannot believe his eyes as he loves horses as to ride a horse in his life's most precious dream well the problem is that their tribe is too poor to afford any kind of horse and above it the tribe is also famous for honesty and rectitude thus there are no possible ways that they can steal such a beautiful horse the tribe can be made to do any wretched crimes but stealing here what happens when early morning murad comes with a horse and he calls aram aram looks at it but he feels that either he is in dream or this is some kind of fantasy because he knows that they belong to a poor family who cannot afford horses but still after some time he gets to the understanding that in reality his cousin murad is there and murad as per murad's request he joins him because somewhere in the mind aram also wanted to ride the horse so getting it clear so let's move on now murad is aware that aram loves horse riding so that is why he has come thus they both move on the horse into the wild repo remote vineyards why they are going there because they want to keep this horse away from the eyes of the people aram soon finds out that murad has stolen the horse but he doesn't consider it stealing because he isn't selling it to anyone for profits or money rather he just enjoying horse ride for fun in his view there occurred no stealing his cousin murad is innocent now when actually they are going for horse riding after a while aram comes to know that as they have not purchased this horse and murad has stolen this horse from someone and stealing is not a good thing in their uh, community but still he thinks that he has not stolen the horse because he has no intention of selling that horse to someone else so that is why here aram justifies the action of murad of stealing the horse because in their opinion they just wanted to enjoy the horse riding and thereafter they had a plan to return that so their intention is pure and we also witness here but the things are not simple the things may not turn like that so let us move forward now first murad takes the ride in full gallop aram loves watching it when aram tries horse riding he falls down after some distance he doesn't get on with the horse but murad knows when it is enough morning and people may wake up murad and aram take the horse to a barren wine yard to keep it tied and hidden from the world at any case both don't want to lose it so soon now here murad is very much expert and already we have seen that murad is very confident murad is having the ways to handle the horse murad is having the different kind of capabilities and he is having little more advantage so due to his adventurous nature and moreover he has stolen this horse some 15 to 20 days earlier so he is having that practice so he is confidently riding 
बट वेन ही गिव द हॉर्स टू अरम एज अरम वॉज वेरी मच न्यू ही कुड नॉट हैंडल द हॉर्स प्रॉपरली एंड दैट इज वाई इज फेसिंग सम डिफिकल्टी बट मुरा इज देयर टू हेल्प हिम बट नाउ एज दे हैव एंजॉय लिटिल बीट बट दे हैव टू कीप इट एज अ सीक्रेट बिकॉज दे वॉन्ट टू कीप दैट हॉर्स विथ देम फॉर अ लिटिल लॉन्गर टाइम सो दैट देर विश ऑफ एंजॉइंग द हॉर्स राइडिंग गेट्स फुलफिल लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड Now Arun doesn't know since how long the horse has been in Murad's custody. He wants to find out, but every time Murad makes plausible excuse, it is clear that Murad, being from the honest and rectitude tribe, in reality is a clever chap. One day, a farmer called John Bayro appears at Arun's house and cries over his horse's disappearance over a month. Now here, all the time Aram was having the doubt that how my cousin Murad is expert and all that. So he keeps asking that you got it today or some days back. But Murad, as you know, he handles Aram also and he doesn't give him the right answer also because in reality he has stolen the horse in his custody since long back. It's because he is a very confident and clever chap. But one day. When Aram goes back home, he comes from that. His uncle Khusrau friend John Bayro has come, and he reports that that he has lost his horse. Now Aram comes to know that the horse which they are enjoying, or his cousin Murad has stolen, actually belongs to the John Bayro, the poor farmer. Now this is a new revelation. Now Aram recounts the tale of John Bayro to Murad. Because Aram immediately goes and tells that, oh my God, cousin Murad, actually there is this farmer, and this is happening there. This horse belongs to him. Aram insists to Murad not to return the horse. Now here, Aram is very much selfish because he has not fulfilled his desire to uh, ride the horse completely. So he tells Murad that don't return it now. You have to return when I have. I will complete my horse riding abilities. so unless he learns riding it to this murad says that it will take a year since aram is bad at riding murad says that he will return the horse after 6 months because here as per murad's understanding aram will take at least 6 months to learn the horse so though they have known that the farmer john bayro belongs is the owner of this horse but still their desire to ride the horse was greater and that's why aram is also now not ready to return the horse immediately but you know there is a twist there is a suspense well one day while they are going to a deserted wine yard to keep the horse after enjoyment they accidentally come upon john by upon seeing the horse john says that the horse looks exactly like the one he had lost Ironically, John says, had he not known their parents, then he would have claimed the horse. Since the people of the tribe are famous for their honesty and trust, he doesn't blame the boys for stealing his horse. The boys feel ashamed of their act. Conscience stricken, at night they leave the horse to John's barn. Here, there is a twist. Now, one day after enjoying the horse, as they were. Going back to keep that horse into barn or vineyard, they happen to meet John Bayro, the real owner of that horse. But here also Murad takes a little bit a step forward. He shows his confidence and speaks with John Bayro in such a way that though John Bayro was sure that this horse is identical of his own horse, but as he knows, Murad and Aram. who belong to on his tribe he doesn't doubt them and he says that it might be an identical twin of my horse here these two boys narrowly escape from being caught as a thief so now they understand that enough is enough because now they feel the self consciousness that enough is enough and now it is high time that they should return actually here their self conscious is awakened they earlier also they had no plan 
of selling that horse to anyone but now as their self consciousness gets awakened they decide to return the horse to its real owner now thus the conclusion of the story is that to keep the legacy of their tribe both boys give up their greed and leave the horse his deserving owner's barn the virtue of honesty and trust cannot be broken down so easily for the sake of uh, tribal and self interest so here dear students we understand that though these boys have stolen the horse but their intention was pure just to enjoy so we cannot blame them or we cannot blot them as thieves their action of stealing is a different one but in a process of time when they were narrowly escaped from being caught as a thief they feel remorse their self conscious gets awakened and their honesty which is in their tribe for hundreds of years they think that they honestly think that we should return it and both these boys go back to the with the horse to its owner and keep it there and finally the honesty wins and these boys prove that they really belong to honest tribe so students i am sure that you might have understood the story completely as we have simplified the story so i hope you will study it in next lecture we'll discuss the different questions and their answers and different angles of this story so students i am very much happy to share with you that the admissions in 11th standard are still open there are very few vacancies available and the students from outside our schools can also contact on the following phone numbers which are mentioned there the phone numbers are 9054795555 and one more phone number is there 9173 Four nine double five double five. So, if there is someone around your friends and in your circle, you can communicate to them. Now, with this, I want to conclude by wishing you all the best, dear student. Stay home, stay safe, but be creative and be constructive. All the best to you. Thank you.